Hello, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up Plex on uh, Open Media Vault. So, uh, first things first, we go to the uh, Open Media Vault website. I'll put a link in the description. So, thing you want to do is go to Downloads, and then you'll see the link uh, here. Just scroll down to you see Raspberry Pi images and click to download. Uh, give it a couple of seconds for the download to show up. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel that. And I'll just go into my download folder to uh, unzip. I use 7-zip uh, which is free, so just right click and extract to. That's done. I'm going to burn the uh, image with Etcher which is free. So all you want to do is select image. I'll just go into my downloads folder pick the image and then just click flash and uh, that's done I'll just close that down now we'll, uh, all we want to do is open up Open Media Vault Mine is uh, 192.168.1.144, but yours will most probably uh, be different. You just want to have a look in, say, in your router settings. And plus, the uh, login for Open Media Vault is uh, admin and Open Media Vault. So, first thing I want to do is mount the drive. So, I'll go into Storage, File Systems, and you should see my Seagate drive uh, show up, which is a USB. So, I'm just going to click Mount. Give it a few seconds and then apply and then click yes. Just give it a few seconds to uh, apply the configuration. So that's done and as you can see it's mounted. Next we want to go into OMV extras. So click on uh, Plex Media then up the top you'll see edit and then move uh, the slider to the right to enable and then just click save and you'll see now it's enabled and then just click apply and just click yes give it a few seconds to apply the configuration and that's done Now we go into plugins and we're going to download Plex. So in the search box, just type Plex. The uh, Plex Media Server. Tick the box and then click install. Then just click yes. Takes a little while to download, but it's not too uh, too long. And that's done. So just click close. And then OK. So that's all done and the Plex Media Server is now running. I'll just open a new window. And the thing you want to do is go to the IP address of Open Media Vault then colon 32400 backslash web and the Plex media server will show up I've set, already set up a Plex account which is free so I'll just log in with my credentials so I'll just click got it now you can uh, close this window 
thing I'll do is give the Plex a name or your Raspberry Pi a name. So I'm just going to call it uh, Pi Stuff. And plus, I'm not going to use my uh, Plex from outside my home. So I'm going to untick that so there's no access from outside my house. You can turn that on and off if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Now I'm going to add a library. I'm going to click Films. And then Next. I'm just going to browse for Media Folder. Just scroll down on the left and there's my uh, Seagate drive. So I just click on that. Then on the right hand side, I've got a movies folder and there's the files listed. So I'm just gonna click add and then add library down the bottom. Now I'm gonna add my TV folder. And then next and browse. And it's the same again. Seagate on the left, and then my uh, TV folder on the right. And that's the programs listed. Just click Add, Add Library. Just scroll down, then click Next. And done. The thing it's going to do now is going to scan my library, which can take half hour to an hour. It can take a while, depending on the size of your library. So here it is, just scanning and updating all the images and all the information it needs. So after a while, say half hour to an hour, this is my uh, Plex server, which is fully updated now. I'll just try uh, Back to the Future. See all the information there, actors and everything. Around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly. Party stuff for you, Miss Parker. And one for you, McFly. I believe that makes four in a row. Just close that. And back again. Let's find another movie. Uh, what have I got now? Let's have the Hunger Games. Click play. And so everything seems to be playing all right. I am smart, you know. You can find. Exactly. Well, I'll just close that down. Go into my TV programs. And my friend's Blu-rays, which I've ripped. These are MKVs. Uh, ripped using a Make MKV. Click play. Some of them, say like me, uh, Blu-ray, MKV rips, can take a little while to start. No, they're not too bad. Okay. All right, Phoebe? Okay, okay. If I were omnipotent for a day, I would want... Um, that plays fine. World peace, no more hunger, good thing... Let me battle Star Galactica. Uh, just pick any old random one. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. And that plays fine. Just fast, uh, fast forward for it. So uh, everything's working fine. So as always, uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.